probably heard of Michelle Janica, an Australian hurdler and a bronze medalist from 2015 Summer Universiade in Guangzhou. She received worldwide media attention in 2012 for her pre-race warm-up dance. That led to over 400,000 followers on Instagram and multiple commercials. Even though she is still waiting for her big moment, she is a great example of an athlete who turned her name into a brand. Really not that much has changed since 2015. Uh, I became an Olympian last year, which is pretty cool, but um, it's mostly it's the same old same, you know, still still getting through my university degree and still competing in athletics, so it's it's been pretty similar. I really enjoyed it, yeah. I mean, I really enjoyed two years ago as well. I mean, I think this competition, it's a lot of fun. It's, a, it's got a really good atmosphere about it. Um, I think the crowd here has been absolutely amazing. And the Taiwanese people have really been getting into the athletics and getting into cheering everyone. And it's been really nice to see that. Um, so I've really enjoyed my time here. Uh, yes, yeah, so warming up for the, actually before the semi-final, um, I had some tightness through my adductor and hamstring. Um, so I, I got myself right for the semi-final. I actually felt it during the semi-final. There was no injury, but it was just it was quite tight. Um, so there was it was pretty short turning around between our semi-final and the final. It only had about an hour and a half. It was like 45 minutes until I had to be back in core room. So I was pretty much on the physio table first at that time, and then trying to loosen everything up. And um, I knew going into core room that I might not be able to run. Um, I, I was just trying to test out in core room and. Um, did a few practice starts when I was out there. Could only get over one hurdle, and then it was just tightening up. So um, I didn't, I didn't like. I wanted to pull out, but I also didn't want to pull out. And I decided in the end just to to run really conservatively, so that I got through the race, but didn't do anything that would jeopardise next season. The Olympic experience was really good. Um, unfortunately, I was injured going into the competition, so I didn't get to race quite as well as I would have liked to. But um, I was really happy with the fact that I got out there and managed to even just cross that finish line. And just being a part of the Olympic movement is just such. A, such an accomplishment, I think. Future plans is to um, just keep going along, keep trying to make teams. Um, we've got the Commonwealth Games in Australia next year, so that's really exciting. Really hoping that I'll be there. Um, you know, I'd love to make another Olympic Games, and hopefully 2020 Tokyo. That's I'd love to be there. Yes, I'll definitely keep the warm-up dance. I don't think I could get rid of it. Um, it's something I love doing, and I mean the fans love it too. <laughs>